TP Nation. What's going on, y'all? This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Please remember to like and comment and subscribe to this old raggedy channel. Hey, it's because of y'all we've got much success. Today, remember, we were talking about baiting the deer, putting down corn. Um, today, I'm going to put down some new corn. Just went and picked up 55-gallon drum of a second drum of corn. Y'all check it out. 55 gallon drum of corn and now i'm gonna try something else new that's called buck jam buck jam um i picked it up from track the supply you know they're one of my sponsors i picked it up it's called buck jam sweet and salty juicy mineral lick instant mineral lick rich apple flavor um pour and go pour and go now first time using this it says you can directly pour it on the ground. You can pour it over de decaying stumps, mix it with grains, pour over feeds. Um, it's just supposed to be a good thing. So we're going to try this out today. This was free from Tractor Supply. They gave it to me. It's one of my, my sponsors. And so let's go. We're going to check out. We're going to put down. Now, hey, last week I tried. I put down some molasses and corn. I put down molasses and corn. So we're going to put this molasses and corn down and we're going to put on some buck jam. We're going to see which one they eat the most. So y'all come along with Taylor's Pride and let's go throw out some corn here on Taylor's Pride Homestead. Trying our buck jam. All right. So I think I'm going to take this corn right here because this has been wet already. And this molasses. I might put down two buckets of corn. I think I'm going to put down two buckets of corn. So let's go. Now, I put down two buckets of corn a week ago, and the deer ate all the corn in like two days. My nephew is coming in town in a couple of days, and he wants to go hunting. So I'm going to get the site prepared for him and get it ready so that he can go hunting and hopefully get a nice deer. So here is our spot. You can see all the corn is going out of this spot pretty much. So we're going to take it. Take that. We're gonna put all this good stuff. This right here. Blood or something. I don't know. Maybe from the last buck that I shot. Alright, so we're gonna put this down. Uh I think I'm gonna put two buckets down. I think I'm gonna put two buckets down. I feel like being generous. Let's put two buckets of corn down, guys. There's my stand up there. You see my stand? You can see deer trails coming through here all day. You can see deer trails. So we're gonna, I feel like being generous. I'm gonna put down two buckets of corn. We're gonna put down two buckets of corn. Give these bad boys something to eat. That's my big Chevy. We're gonna put down two buckets of corn. I'm going to take some of this book jam. I'm some, there's some stumps in there somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where I want to put this stuff because I don't want deer coming too close to me. I really don't want them too close to me at all. So I don't know yet. Maybe I won't put molasses down over here. I'll put molasses in the other spot and I'll put book jam over here. So we'll try that because today's video is book jam, right? All right. So we're going to put this in there too. Try not to spill all this corn on the ground. It's a little windy down here in South Carolina today. It's November the 30th. So it's kind of warm. But it is what it is. Y'all know what we do. So there's our site. I'm going to put down a lot of corn in here. I'm going to put down a lot of corn. 
a lot of corn. So, yep, I'm gonna put down a lot of corn right in this area, right in here, guys. A lot of corn. So, let's see here. Yep, right in here. We're gonna fatten these boys up. Now that's a lot of corn. Now we need to apply this buck jam. Now the instruction says pour it directly over your feed, pour it on a stump somewhere or something like that. Um, I don't know, but you know, I don't have a problem with deer coming in. So it's not necessarily it's an instant mineral lick. Um, okay. So it says to pour it over some type of tree or something. Um, this something right here. Oh, well, that fell down. But I don't necessarily want to pour it over that. I need something in sight. Right? I need something in sight so that I can shoot. Um... All right, so let's pour it over the ground. So we're just going to pour it over the ground. Right in here. We're going to pour it right in this area right here. In this little bare area. We're going to pour it in there. Let's clear out some stuff. So. We're going to see what this buck jam does. Right, Y'all see the area that we've cleared out here? Y'all see that, right? So there's our corn. We're gonna put some buck jam right in here. Mm. Ugh. This is stuck it up my nose. Eek. All right, we're gonna pull some in here. It smells like medicine, really. Pour a little bit over here too on this corn. All right, so we're gonna pour that right there. So we did pour almost a half of a jug. So you know I'm cheap and stingy. I want to save some. All right, so we got that down now. All right. So y'all see it, right? So in about two days, that'll be ready to go. That spot's gonna be beautiful. So our stand is up there. Um, this tree right here does get in my way. I think it does get in my way. This little tree right here. This tree gets in the way. Take that one down. And there was a rub and a scrape over here, but we wanna stop that. Cause this tree is in my way. It's a scrape, but we're gonna take that down. We just broke that down. So now we got clean area to my stand. So y'all can see that it's a perfect area right there to shoot a deer. Um, there's one tree in here that I do want to take down, and that's that this tree right here. This little small tree, I like to take it down because, you know, the deer be standing over there sometime. But that's all right, guys. We ain't got no problem killing no deer. We we killed nine so far. So there it is, guys. Y'all can see now we've got our buck jam down. We've got a new corn spot down. We're putting down two five-gallon buckets of corn. It's going to be on and popping. On and popping, baby. On and popping. This season, we've got one month left. Today is November 30th. Last day of deer season is January the 1st. 
and that's gonna be it so we're gonna go over and check out molasses spot out um check out our molasses spot as y'all can see we killed this one this year that one um i threw the other ones away but uh we done did so we done did pretty good so far you know did pretty good so far we've done pretty good so far so we ain't mad about it hey y'all know i can kill them but thank y'all so much for tuning in we're gonna do an update on this buck jam hopefully it's gonna be the real deal um we're gonna go to the other spot now this is we call this the honey hole and the other one is the hole so we're gonna go over there and check that spot out get out of here fly I really want to go get in the stand so bad. Got Bible study tonight. I think it's like one o'clock right now. I really want to go get in the stand so bad. It's about to kill me. But I got things I got to do. I got to study the word of God to be able to teach it effectively. So makes no sense for me to go out in the woods and kill a deer right now knowing i gotta teach bible study uh i don't think i'm gonna go in that spot in there right now the molasses spot because i put out five gallons of corn um day before yesterday and i hope they have not eaten all that by now so i'm not gonna go over there right now i'm not gonna do it nope i'm getting out of here because i want to go hunting i'm gonna i'm not gonna stay in this tree nope nope i'm getting out of here right now because i know me I want to go in these woods so bad. You ever just want to do something so bad when you know you shouldn't do it? Isn't that like crazy? You know you shouldn't do it. You got other things to do. So I know the best thing for me to do is follow my intuition and go home. Right? Then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going home. I might be missing the opportunity of a big deer. But sometimes you just got to, you know, like I said... I got to teach class tonight, and so it's best for me to go home and prepare myself because if I go get in the stand, I'm going to want to stay till 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock, and then I got to teach Bible study, and then that means I haven't studied the Word. So that means I've got to put forth the Word of God. God's Word comes first. Hunting is second. God's Word comes first. And and you got to, the Bible says, to study to show thyself a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word. And if I'm going to rightly divide the word, I've got to study the word. I've got to study the word. And so, you know, deer, you know, I, I've already killed nine deer. That ain't no problem. I've given all the meat away to people. Um, so, you know, it's not a problem killing a deer. I just love, I just love hunting. I love hunting fish. I mean, I love hunting, you know, animals and pr providing meat on the table. But it's much more than that, guys. So I'm, I'm going to listen to my intuition and take my T-A-I-L home tail home and get in my bible and study before bible study but real quick guys please like please comment and subscribe to the channel i love y'all so much y'all have an awesome day peace i'll give you a report on the buck jam peace